Hey everybody, my name is Jeff. Welcome to the podcast. It's great to have you with us on Keeping It Israel today. And uh, today's podcast is going to be a little different. Today it's just me. I'm going to be talking to you rather than interviewing a guest today. And the reason I want to do that is because we have some important things that we're wanting to communicate to all of you about some new and exciting things that are going to be happening here at FCF, but also about some changes that we're going to be making. And I think that it's important that uh, you hear that from us and we get this information out to you today. Uh, before I do that, let me just uh, share a verse of scripture that I was reading again earlier today. It's a familiar one, but I want to uh, just sort of springboard from here. And it's Paul writing in Philippians 1, the ESV, and he says, I thank my God in all of my remembrance of you. Always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Uh, I want to just stop there for a minute. You know, we are in partnership in the gospel with many of our ministry friends in the land of Israel. And this is something that First Century Foundations feels is just so important. And in a moment, I want to bring you a little bit of an update on the last trip that we made to Israel. But I want to just carry on with the verse here as well. It says, this, that, that um, I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Will bring it to completion. I love that. And here's what I want to just say about that today, is that God has been doing some great things here at First Century Foundations and through our ministry, and we're excited about, about what's happening and about what's coming. But I believe that God has started a good thing here at FCF. We've been building on an incredible legacy left to us by our founders. Uh, but as we have uh, been making some changes and doing some new things, God is doing some, some amazing stuff. And I believe that he's going to bring it to completion uh, one day. But there are things that we can do better. And so we're going to make a couple of changes. First, you know, we've got some exciting things coming. And because of those new things, we want to make sure that we're focusing our time and our energy and our efforts in the very best way possible. And so when it comes to the podcast, when it comes to keeping it Israel, we're going to make a slight change. We're going to be bringing you uh, the great interviews you've grown to expect. We're going to be finding the best guests, but we're going to start uh, airing the podcast every two weeks instead of every single week. What this is going to do is, is going to free up some time for us uh, with regard to uh, preparing and, and, and doing the interviews and editing the podcast and so on. But it's also going to help us to focus on the best quality interviews that we can find. And instead of bringing you something every single week, we're going to bring you something really great every other week. And we promise that we're going to do our best to find those excellent interviews that will uh, interest you and be informative to you when it comes to uh, Israel and the topics that we will be discussing. I want to say to all of you who have listened or watched us on YouTube, I want to say thank you so much for your faithfulness and your loyalty to the Keeping It Israel podcast. And the great news is Keeping It Israel is still going to be around. Uh, we're just going to be doing it every other week instead of every single week. And so we wanted you to know that that change is coming. It's actually going to be happening starting June the 22nd. And so uh, today you'll get this podcast two weeks from now. Uh, we'll begin airing those interviews and uh, we have a really exciting one coming up in two weeks. I don't want to give it away, but this is an incredible guest, somebody that uh, you will undoubtedly have heard of if you are on Facebook for sure and interested in Israel. And so we look forward to being able to air this in a couple of weeks and, and bring it to you. And we're going to be bringing lots of great, excellent guests, awesome material in the coming days. And so please watch for those things. Now, I, I do also want to uh, bring you a bit of an update. We recently just got back from the land of Israel, my wife and I, and before that, uh, Mark Fossey, our new director of development was with me. We visited about 33 different ministries in the land of Israel. And I want you to know God is doing great things there in Israel through these ministries. We heard so many amazing reports. But 
In addition to the reports, I want you to hear what, what leaders there are saying. They're saying thank you to us. And uh, mostly, they're thankful for your prayers. And that's, I know, sometimes hard to believe, you know, because we, we always think, well, it's the money. It's the, it's the projects that we're able to do that, that people are so grateful for. But no, when we talk to them over and over and over again, each of them will say, we're just so grateful that there are people in North America who uh, care about us enough to to pray for us. And so I want to just I want to challenge you and encourage you today. If you don't get our newsletter, for example, that uh, has the Israel Prayer Watch in it, and in that uh, prayer bulletin we publish current prayer requests of 31 different ministry leaders every two months, so that you can pray each day of the month uh, twice over for these specific needs. Uh, this is an amazing way for you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. If you don't get that, then please uh, email us info at firstcenturyfoundations.com. We would love to be able to send you the newsletter and the Israel Prayer Watch every two months. This will give you a tool, a resource to be able to intelligently pray for ministries there in the land of Israel. And you need to know they are just so incredibly uh, grateful that you would do that. And so uh, don't hesitate. Info at firstcenturyfoundations.com and we will make sure that we mail that out to you every two months. Just a little dis disclaimer here. We only mail it. It's a physical newsletter. Don't worry about the cost. We do this because uh, ministry leaders in Israel are very reticent to give us any kind of personal requests that we publish anywhere on the web or make available in a digital format. And so we have agreed to do it this way for their sakes. So please uh, know that uh, as we traveled throughout the land, we visited uh, different congregations, different ministry leaders, and each and every one of them are just so very grateful for, for First Century Foundations and for our partners here in North America. Um, that's just a, a quick update. Also, if you do send us uh, an email to sign up for the newsletter, make sure that you also give us permission to send you our, our e-blasts, e our email uh, updates, because in the next little while, we'll be sharing some very exciting stories from that trip, some by video, some uh, with print and photo, but it is stuff that you're going to want to hear about, and uh, you'll, be, you'll be just amazed at what God is doing. And... I believe you'll you'll want to engage with that and to partner with us and to help us to uh, carry out this ministry in the land of Israel. Listen, one more thing that uh, very very excited about, and it's happening in just the next few weeks. I'm actually getting ready to do an interview later this week uh, and be a guest on a uh, the flagship show on God TV. Um, it's going to be amazing to be able to to be on this network. But starting July the 6th, we are going to be airing our half hour First Century Foundations television show on God TV. This is a direct TV network that's available in millions of homes in the United States, but also is huge in the United Kingdom, in Europe, in uh, South Africa, in India, and many other parts of the world. We're going to be getting our show aired in all of those areas. And so I want to just uh, ask you to pray, first of all, that this would be an incredible opportunity for First Century Foundations to expand its horizons, to, uh, to gain new partnerships, and really blossom as we continue to help ministries in the land of Israel. And um, if you don't have DirecTV, I believe that you can also watch the show on the God TV app, which uh, is available on your smart device. And we want you to uh, encourage you to uh, check that out as well. It's going to be incredible to be able to uh, to be on this network. And we're just really encouraging you to uh, to check us out on there as well. So I got lots of great things happening. And so I don't want you to think that uh, that anything is is being diminished by us going to every two weeks with the Keeping It Israel podcast. We uh, are very, very excited that uh, we can focus now on getting high, high quality um, interviewees, and it will be just so good for you to be able to watch and engage in that way. 
Uh, thanks so much for tuning in and for following us here at First Century Foundations. I appreciate it more than you know, and uh, we are just so thrilled to be able to provide this podcast for you. And uh, just to update you again, uh, June the 22nd will be the next podcast. And beginning on June the 22nd, we'll be, we will be airing the podcast every two weeks on a Wednesday. And we want to encourage you to follow us in that way. Um, just before I'm done, why don't you watch this exciting promo for the new show airing on God TV beginning July the 6th. Thanks for tuning in today. God bless you. I was a pastor for more than 20 years before I first came to Israel, only to realize that I was not connected to the roots of my faith, and I had been missing out on so much. I'm Jeff Feuders, Executive Director of First Century Foundations, and I invite you to join me on a journey to the foundations of Christianity, to explore the land Israel inherited thousands of years ago, to see the places where the stories of the Bible happened, to witness the archeological discoveries that validate and illuminate the Bible, to introduce you to the experts that help it all make sense, to connect you to the amazing things God has done here in the past, and to show you the incredible things he is doing here today. Yeah, Sandy, tell us a little bit more about what Beat Haim is all about. Be'ad Chaim simply means Israel pro-life, and our goal is to protect the mother and the child from the pain of abortion and the loss of a child. In a world that is rapidly abandoning so many fundamental values and ancient truths found in the Bible, in a world that seems to be losing its faith in God and turning against Israel, I invite you to join me as we go deep to the foundations of our faith as we turn our hearts toward Zion, toward the land, the people, and the God of Israel in every episode of First Century Foundations. These days, going to Israel feels like coming home. Will you join me? Watch First Century Foundations every Wednesday night at 5.30, right here on God TV. Thanks for watching. You can listen to this entire podcast on your favorite audio podcast platform. Find the link below. And while you're at it, don't forget to click subscribe and follow us on Facebook so you can stay connected to First Century Foundation.